Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, with one of many videos available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In this session, we'll be showing you our new option in how to create a shaped tool or holder. We can now create shaped tools without having to create a sketch beforehand. If we want to create a new shape tool, I can go to any one of these lines over here, right click and click on add. When I do so, we get a dialog window with different shapes on the right hand side, different icons with different shapes. If I want to start building a tool, all I have to do is click on one of these shapes. I'll click on this shape, for example, which is a cylinder and you can see a cylinder has been created on my screen over here with the dimensions that are relevant to the cylinder itself. For example, I have a diameter of 20 and I have a height of 50 and I can change these and we'll go into that in a moment. Now let's say I want to continue the shape at the bottom of the cylinder. All I do is right click on the cylinder itself and I can add a shape above or below. And as I said, I want to add one below. And let's add this shape over here below. And as you see, we have now a torus on the very bottom showing this shape at the very bottom. I can continue and add another shape below this of another cylinder as shown over here. And I can go on and on adding different shapes. Now I can change my dimensions over here Say I want to have the diameter of the small one on the bottom at 15 millimeters and the height at one millimeter. Now I want to have my torus where the top diameter, I'll leave it at 20. My radius, I want to have that at 2.5. And as you can see, everything is starting to change over here. Now I can go to my top diameter and change it say to 21 and the height I can change this to say five millimeters. And we have the edited shape over here. I can go over here now again if I want, right click and add a shape above of another cylinder. And this time I'll have this cylinder at 12 millimeters at the height of 50. So now I've actually created a new tool that looks like this. If I were to do show, you can see the tool exactly the way it was created. And I can go on and on and create more tools. For example, if I were to right click over here again and add another tool, I can again add a cylinder. I can again at the very bottom of this add a radius of this sort. Now we have a radius here at the bottom. Over here if I want I can right click, add a shape above of another cylinder and on this over here I can add another shape above this of another radius like this. I can now again change my dimensions, say go into the first torus at the very bottom, change the top diameter to 25, keep it at a radius of 5, go to my cylinder, have this diameter also at 25, and the height say at 3 millimeters. And my next torus I can continue on and say have my bottom diameter at 25 and have my radius over here exactly the way this is. Now we have a tool that looks like this. I can go now into my last cylinder and change this diameter over here to 10 millimeters. And now we have a tool that looks like this. I can basically make any shape tool that I want just by adding the shapes that are on the right hand side over here by clicking on the different icons. I'm still able to create tools in the old way by importing a tool. If I click on import, then I get the sketch that I used to get beforehand and do it exactly in that fashion as well. Go back over here and I can continue creating tools in this fashion over here by clicking on icons. For more videos on SolidCam Professor, please go to our website www.solidcam.com and look for the tab called SolidCam Professor. 
Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.